Hello Dragon Ballers, it's Dokantero, and today we are going to discuss a new mechanic, not so much of a new mechanic, but new information about a mechanic in the game that many of us who do damage calculation and that kind of stuff were wrong about, and that is additional attacks, or combo attacks, whatever you want to call them, depending on, you know, if you play the global version or if you, you know, found out about them through the Japanese version, you know them as additional attacks. So, the way we used to think of them is, let's say you have an additional attack of five. Um, and that's, you know, just throw up Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta as just an example. No dupes, he's got a, his free level five uh, additional attack. We used to think of that as a 10% uh, chance to get an additional attack that has a 50% chance of being a super attack. Now, the way this actually works, it's still a 10 or 50% chance to be a super attack, but each additional attack that Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta does, which he has guaranteed to, also triggers that additional attack chance. So the way to look at it, I, I picked him with a, with a five additional attack because it's a lot easier to visualize. Um, you have that initial 10% when he first attacks. Take that 10% away from your whole of 100% and now you're left with 90% and he triggers it again and take 10% out of that and then that's 9% and that goes into, I'll have, uh, I should have, you know, graphics up here that, you know, visualize it a little bit better. Now we're at 19% and then you've got 80% or you've got, um, what is it, like 80, 81% left um, <laughs> out of out of that whole 100% and his next additional attack will give roughly another 8% or 8.1% technically, um, leaving him with 27.1% uh, chance of having a super attack triggered. And that has a 50% chance of being a, or additional attack triggered, and that has a 50% chance of being a super attack. So once again, it's you're taking 10% away, and then you're taking another 10% away and adding it to that, then taking another 10% away and adding it to that. And each time the 10% is a lesser number because you're taking away from a smaller percentage amount. I hope that makes sense, but basically the, what you really need to know about this is this changes the way you want to put units through the dupe system to a certain degree. So there are a couple of units that I want to go over. Also, by the way, counterattacks that happen before the super attack also are affected by this mechanic. Oh goodness, I'm dropping stuff over here. Oh, and by the way, cheers. I haven't done that in a little while. So taking Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta, uh, for instance, let's put him on a Vegeta's lineage team. He'll have a total leader skill boost of 340%. Link's active, Super Saiyan Warrior God's Royal Lineage Fierce Battle. Let's give him all of his Link's active, just for fun. If you give him um, his 15 crit and his additional attack of 11, if you max out his crit, Considering the likelihood of him transforming um, and also only giving him an average of 10% crit, which it actually effectively is more than that, but this is all you really need to, to show to show how this thing works. Um, factoring in the percent chance that he'll transform each turn, which is a whole thing in, in and of itself that I don't have time to get into in this video, he'll be doing about 5.17 million damage. Now, for a, lot of, for a lot of people, they looked at this new information and said, oh, so additional attack is the better way to go. Well, not so much. If you give him his six crit and 20 additional, max out his additional, now he's doing only 4.97 million. And the reason for that is that with the lower crit chance, each additional attack has a lesser chance of being a critical hit, which means less damage. Now, so with 15, 11, with that spread, we were at million. If you were to do 12 crit and 14 additional attack, make it a nice even spread, or you know somewhat even between the two, now he's at 5.19 million. That's a little bit more than max crit, but keep in mind, we only have him at 10% crit chance when he's, you know, when he's evolved. He will continue to boost that crit chance, which makes the, uh, which makes the damage higher. So, 
it is better for Super Saiyan Blue Evolve Vegeta to have a nice even spread. This way, you've got a pretty high crit chance uh, while he's not evolved, and then you also have a nice um, additional attack chance once he has his own crits once he's evolved. It's a nice little spread in between the two. So you don't want to go full additional attack like a unit like Trunks who already has uh, critical hits, like a um, uh, Gogeta type that does super effective against everyone. You want a nice even spread. And we're going to go over, um, let's talk about another unit that has additional attacks. And that is Tech Vegito Blue. We're putting him on a Patara team, 340% based on the two leader skills, the two LR uh, Vegitos. Link's active, Super Saiyan Warrior Gods, Kamehameha, Power Bestowed by God, Fierce Battle. All of his attacking links are active for this, just for fun. And yes, of course, these guys are rainbowed. Just all these units are at rainbow, just for fun. Uh, normally, we would have put him at 20 crit and 6 additional attack, and that would put him at roughly 6.51 million damage. We're putting his attack stat at about 90 and giving him a few uh, attack... Uh, buffs to his, based on his super attack mechanic, based on how many additionals that he's going to be getting, uh, we come out with roughly, roughly 6.51 million. Now for him, uh, once, once again, you do, you do not want to go the full additional attack route. You don't want to do that whatsoever. Um, he has, he has a 70% chance to launch two, uh, uh, super attacks or rather, or two additional attacks need to stop saying super attacks. Uh, he actually has two additional attacks that each have a 70% chance. So sometimes you only get one, sometimes you'll get none, sometimes you'll get both. Uh, usually you get one, at least. Um, if we put him at an even spread of 14 crit and additional attack of 12, now he's up to 6.86 million. I know it's not a whole lot more than the 6.51 million, but it is worth, it is worth noting. Um, that that is a, just just a little bit better of a method. Now, um, just just because I have it up here, if you were to give him full additional attack and and eleven crit, uh, his damage would be six point seven three million on average. Factoring in all of his additional attacks, factoring in a super attack mechanic, factoring in um, his his you know average attack stat based on the number of attacks that he'll be doing. Um, you don't want a max additional attack because when you give him an even spread, that's when he'll be doing the most damage. Now, the amount more is not that big of a deal, really. Um, you haven't ruined your, your Tech Vegito Blue if you've got him at 20 crit. As you can see, it's only, you know, uh, 350,000 damage that we're worried about. That's like a regular attack, you know. Uh, but still, it's something, and those do add up. And once he gets his full attack boost, you'll really start to notice all that kind of stuff. So now let's talk about a countering unit, a countering unit like Super Saiyan 2, Vegeta, and Bulma. Let's put him on a Vegeta's lineage team. Uh, that's 340% based on the two leader skills of two Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas. Link's active will be Super Saiyan Prodigies and Berserker. We're just going to activate Berserker just for fun, just for fun. We want, uh, you know, it's more exciting when you do uh, big numbers. Now, uh, for a unit like this, when you give him 20 crit and 6 additional, he'll be at 6.48 million. Um, based on the way I've done math for, for these units, with the newer events, you're getting attacked more. If you're trying to put this guy in the slot with the most attacks, uh, on average, each turn, he'll be taking about um, 3 attacks that are not super attacks on average is the way I've looked at it. It used to be two and a half. Now I would like to say it's more up to three if you're taking on harder events, if you're taking on boss rush or not boss rush, but um, super battle road, that kind of stuff. Um, so his damage will be 6.48 million. He'll probably, he'll probably average getting hit uh, or getting a counter before a super once per turn. Some turns it'll be a bunch, some turns it'll be none at all. Um, if you give him that nice even spread, he actually does less damage in this case at 6.17 million, and it gets worse the lower you go. Uh, just because for a countering unit, it's you can't really rely on the chance that you get hit four times in the front. You, you just can't rely on that. So I think it's still best to max crit on units that have the counter mechanic just because it's, it, it's something that you can count on a lot more than getting attacked in the front a whole bunch. 
Because remember, it's all RNG, it's all random stuff. Now, what about physical Vegito Blue? This is a unit that does additional attacks, who also counters. What can we expect from this unit? Well, let's put him on a Patara team. 340% boost. Uh, Link's active, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Power Bestowed by God, and Fierce Battle. At 15 crit and 11 additional attack, he'll be doing 3.99 million damage, on average, on average, with all of his counters, with all of his additional attack chances. With uh, a nice even spread of 12 crit and additional attack of 14, 3.95, and it continues to go down. And the reason for that being that a lot of times the the counters are going to happen in the back, and so you're gonna you're, you would much rather those have a higher crit chance than boosting your additional attack chance. So the way it seems to work to me is if your unit does counters, go ahead and max that that crit. If your unit already crits in their passive, max the additional instead. If your unit does like Super Gogetas, if they do that uh, attacks effective against everyone, max the additional instead um, and, and do the, the minimum for crit. And if you have units that only do additional attacks and they do two of them, this doesn't work for say LR Broly. Um, it's not as beneficial for him. Um, the full power Broly, anyone with just one additional attack, it doesn't quite work. But if they have two additional attacks, or the chance to do two additional attacks even, like as far as Tech Vegito Blue goes, you want to do a nice even split. Uh, while we're here, units like Jiren, who can, who can, who have a stun chance, and then when they, when they attack a stun enemy, it's an automatic crit. That's another one you want to do an even spread, like a 14-12 between them, uh, just because that stun isn't always going to go off, and in Dokkan events, the bosses oftentimes can't be stunned. So a nice even spread, just to make sure you're covering all your bases. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. Um, hopefully this doesn't ruin, once again, this isn't like really game breaking stuff. You could, you could keep your units as they are and they'll probably be just fine. But if you do get a chance, if you do pull enough dupes, if you do have the 10 dragon stones to replace a skill here and there, uh, I do recommend that you go ahead and, and do that just to get the most out of your unit. So, uh, once again, just just as just as a final general rule of thumb, if they attack twice, two additional attacks, or they have two additional attack chances, if they're high enough, 70% for Tech Vegito Blue, you want to go for a split between additional attack and critical hit. And for countering units, just go ahead and keep them at max crit. Anyway, hope this helps some of you guys. I know this has been running around a lot and people have been wondering about it and all that kind of stuff. I hope this makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try to make a pinned comment of some sort that clarifies this a little bit better. But I hope this made sense to you guys. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't make sense, if you're not um, you know, a damage calculator yourself or you don't think of things in terms of this way, just, j just, just know that You'll yield better results with Super Saiyan Blue Evolved Vegeta and Tech Vegeta Blue with a split between the additional attack and the critical hits. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. I'm always into that kind of stuff. Check out the links in the description. It helps me. It helps you. It helps everyone. And, you know, all, all that good stuff. Lots of, lots of fun stuff in the description for you. Uh, all right. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I love each and every one of you tiny little goofballs. And I'll catch you on the next one. Ow.